very happy Diwali to you and I pass on this light of peace, love, hope and enlightenment to your lives. You know, may life always uh, uh, be blessed with, you know, all the prosperity and abundant joys. And this is a beautiful Diwali night and um, I'm all set with my pack of tarot and, um, you know, wishing you all the glitter and sparkle. I'm all set you know, to read the cards, your tarot predictions for the month of November. So, passing on this slide to you one more time. Happy Diwali. Uh, well, today we have a pack of cards. These are very special cards. These are special cards because they have depiction of depiction. They have a picture of the Ramayan. Yes, the Holy Book Ramayan. And um, so this is a very beautiful time to read this unique uh, pack of cards that I have in my hand. Uh, for example... I'll show you one or two cards like uh, uh, Lord Ram and Goddess Sita. That is the depiction here. And, you know, they are taken from uh, the serial uh, Ramayan. And it's it's really, really uh, beautiful. Uh, so I will just start my readings for you. And Aries, yeah. So I'm going to read the cards for you, dear Aries. And let's check out what your cards say. I'll take out three cards for you. And aaj isi pack of cards say hum prediction bhi karenge aur jo advice tarot aapko dena chahte hain hum wo bhi denge. Dear Aries. Just found the cards for you, dear Aries. And I will pick up three cards for you, dear Aries. Okay. Okay. And okay. Well, the first card that you have drawn, it is the card of new beginnings, right? So it's telling you that there are new beginnings here. So with that, uh, dear Aries, aapke saath advice bhi aa raha hai ki um, jab hum kisi bhi purani cheez ko chhod rahe hote hain, to humare uske saath attachments hote hain aur hume bohut dikkat hoti hai usko chhodne mein. But ye kaar aapko advice kar raha hai ki um, this is the best time uh, to put an end to something and to begin with a new journey. That is what your cards are saying. So there is something new which is going to happen. It could be, you know, you know, ki ek uh, koi relationship hai, uh, jo ek uh, naya shape legi, naya form legi, naya bonding legi. Uh, koi project aisa hai, jo naya shuru hone wala hai. Kuch relationship jo ab apni relevance kho chuke hai, they'll definitely come to an end. So basically the de death card, it actually shows the that, that the darkest night is over and the sun is about to rise and it is a very beautiful card and it also tells us that if our deeds are good, then we automatically become fearless in life. So this is telling you, guiding you, you know, to go ahead with your noble cause, your good deeds and welcome the new things to happen and get detached to the things, you know, say beautiful goodbyes to things. Now your second card, um, that is definitely you have drawn page of coins. And that is money, finances ko lekar. Uh, kuch uh, challenges are face karenge, obviously paisa zyada kharchua hai. To naya source kaha se aap money ko lai, that is what you're thinking. That is very good because uh, you'll put in uh, more efforts and uh, you'll be able to reap, you know, better fruits. And then you have drawn six of coins. So if you want to project a start a project, something like that, which you want to have financial stability, then you, those people, you know, if you want to take a loan, if you want your friend to help you out, you want a good partner, you know, to help you out, partnership projects and all. So all that is going to be good, you know, that is going to work out actually, things would be in your favor. So this is all for you, dear Aryan. So I believe that every card, apne apne ek guidance height, 
करे रहते हैं सो यू नीड टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग इस समय आई बिलीव द मंथ ऑफ नवम्बर इट्स लाइक मनी 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 इन द माइंड एंड इट्स नॉट रॉन्ग दिस इज द टाइम वे यू शुड वर्क हार्ड फॉर मनी एंड यू विल बी एबल टू यू नो क्रॉस द बैरियर्स एंड द हर्डल्स सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट आई सी गुड हेल्थ इमोशनली डेंट है जरूर थोड़ा सा क्योंकि बाइस कहने में हमें दर्द होता है बट देन या देर आर अदर एस्पेक्ट जहाँ पर आपको ध्यान देना है सो फाइनेंस यू नो दैट इज वॉट यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सन साइन एंड दैट इज टॉरेंस माई डियर टॉरेंस रीड द कार्ड्स यू डियर टॉरेंस लेट्स चेक आउट वॉट योर कार्ड से फॉर द मंथ ऑफ नवम्बर dear tarians i've got three cards for you dear tarians okay you've drawn the star card dear tarians it's a very very beautiful card right and the star card it's number 17 which makes number 8 and it is number of eternity stars aapke favor mein hai good health hai finances hai kuch bada dream aapka sach hone wala hai november ek beauty leke aa raha hai aapke jo dil ki ek innocence rahi hai hamesha se ek nishpakshta rahi hai you know you always been impartial you have been innocent and you know very beautiful you've taken your life very balanced way you always try to keep everybody happy so this is the time when nature is giving you back dear torrents so i see good health happiness you know glitter sparkle so the sparkle of diwali and the beauty of light you know it's it's going to um you know it's going to take you forward in its डायरेक्शन टू ऑफ सोर्ड्स आपने ड्रॉ किया है जो एक गाइडेंस आपको जरूर दे रहा है कि आँख से पत्ती को हटाना है आँख में जो ब्लाइंड फोल्ड है उसको हटाना है डेट ऑरेंस वो बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है और थोड़ा जैसे आपने अपने आप को बहुत रूड कर लिया है स्टिफ कर लिया है विच एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट राइट एंड दैट्स द गाइडेंस विच कम्स एंड द थर्ड यू ड्रॉन हाई प्रीस card you know which is actually the high priest card you know it's um it's it's uh, indicating you know some ceremony in the house it's indicating you know um some kind of a stability promotion in job it's also talking about you know uh, agar koi ghar aap change karna cha rahe hain ya naya ghar khareedna cha rahe hain kuch aisa kisi bhi direction mein it's like you know uh the the blessings of the priest the blessings of the people who are good who are close to god that is on you and you know it's blessing you right so all the very best and uh, go ahead with life because november brings you loads of happiness dear dot your card say dear gemini and here are your predictions for the month of november i'll take out three cards for you Yeah. I see lot of confidence in you, dear Gemini. Yes, and that's a very, very beautiful sign. Yes, you have drawn the page of cups. Can you see? Uh, these are the beautiful pictures which are taken, you know, from Ramayan, and. Um, it's uh, lakshman ji he's near waters and he's taking water and there is a fish in his cup you know and fish is symbolizing here prosperity coming in good news coming in basically the gemini is up confident hai is strong hai aapka jo good work hai you know uh, nature is paying you back you wanted water but the fish has come to bless you and you know you will put back the fish into the water because you have that compassion so it's really really beautiful well the second card that you have drawn it is the hanged man card and uh, the hanged man card it says ki abhi aap koi decision mat lijiye agar aap kuch karna cha rahe hain to take a pause ruk jaiye abhi and uh, 
you know, patience would be the best answer for the month of uh, November. Don't um, hurry and don't worry and also eat less of curry. Now, you have drawn three of swords also, which is actually uh, uh, telling uh, ki kahi na kahi uh, kuch emotions hain uh, jo kahi involved hai. You know, kisi bhi tarike ka ek jagha se dusri jagha jane uh, par aap purani jagha ko yaad karte hain. Um, kisi ne aapko hurt kar diya hai. Aap bohat touchy ho rahe hain. The November, all in all, it is going to bring you good news towards the end and uh, the beauty of it would linger on and these small phases are going to go away. You have to take care of health, ka dhyan rakhna hai. Uh, season is also changing and yes, one important thing, decision ko abhi halt par rakhna hai, koi bhi immediate decision nahi lena hai. So take care of your health, life is gonna be good, you are, you know, you, you are happy, you are good and the best thing is that you are confident to Gemini's, you are confident. So that's a beautiful, that's, that's a beautiful sign. Moving on to the next sun sign. Hey, dear Cancerians, how are you? So my cards are all set, you know, and I'm reading the cards as to what they hold for you, you know, what your stars, you know, how they guide you, how they're going to guide you, how they're going to take you forward. That is all we have for Cancerians. And let's check out what your cards say. I'll draw three cards for you, dear Cancerians. Wow, you've drawn six of coins, you've drawn eight of coins, and you've drawn queen of coins. So money, money, money. The first thing is that Lady Luck is helping you, dear Cancerians. Lady Luck. You know, Goddess Lakshmi is blessing you. And women in your life, you know, anybody, your sister, your mother, your wife, anybody who really loves you unconditionally, that is important, yeah. No selfish uh, feelings involved. Um... You know, that lady luck is going to work and uh, you are being paid uh, for your hard work and um, then your six of coins also. Uh, if we look at three cards in November, you are financial stability. But this is hard-earned money. Hai. Health is good. Basically, prioritize when we go to something in life, we go to something in life. So, in this time, money, you know, that is actually occupying a lot of your time in November, you will really work hard, you will save, your lady luck will work and you, you will be helped, you know, by by a person by a bank or anything you know so money issues like you know you're going you 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 will be able to meet out you know all these uh, monetary challenges and there would be some new beginnings on the cards as well and um, so nice times little challenging times cancerians so just take care of you in the way don't get touchy and uh, just be nice to others and be balanced that's all what my cards say that's what my energies um, say for you dear cancer and so have a great month ahead and let me just shuffle the cards for you dear leos and let's check out what your cards say dear leos i'll just read the cards for you November predictions, yeah. Five of Swords, challenging times, and ego. Ego has to be kept down. Japris uh, kwese kahe. Other log aap se bohat ego me deal kar rahe so they have to put down their swords that is what the cards say you know because you have the strength to lift your swords with all your might that's all what the cards are saying so put your things clear you know when it comes to putting yourself you know uh, in a very straightforward manner in a plain manner before people then you've got ten of cups 
so very happy times you know family times celebrations you know it's like the sparkle and glitter of diwali lingers on around and you know vacations and holidays and everything so nice good health happiness love luck prosperity uh, meeting a good friend meeting somebody you know who is really close to your soul and then you've drawn king of coins you know so there is a male counterpart you know who is going to be a good strength to you in terms of guidance stability happiness you know in helping you you know to reach out to your dreams so all in all a great month for you dear Leo's. So just uh, enjoy yourself, be good, be nice, and have happy times. Hey, my dear Virgos, all set. Hope your Diwali went great. Still going on. And Virgos, let's see what your cards say for the month of November. Virgos. Three cards for you. Yeah. You've drawn two of coins, dear Virgos, and two of coins, a balanced situation in life. Like November is going to be a balanced month for you. Agar, uh, aap, uh, because ye card basically a uh, balanced relationship, batata hai, balanced projects, batata hai. Uh, Two sources, jahan se aap paisa, do business, do ventures, jahan se aap paisa la rahe hai. And uh, paise ki darkar ye bhi batata hai, you really need money, you're juggling through uh, different sources. So two sources are very important from where you are getting the money. The second is, there is good news in way because you've drawn page of cups. And uh, yes, I see that November brings a lot of confidence to people, right? So this is one card which is telling you that you have the strength uh, to take the responsibility. And, uh, you know, there is a good news which is coming your way. You are happy about it. But more or less, I see, you know, related to your work and profession and emotions stability, thora thora, but the bigger percentage is of profession and of course the way you're going to earn money. And then you have drawn also the hand man, which you also have told me that you have to do a little you know, zada, excessive kuch bhi nahi karna hai. you know, you need to be, you you have to curb on that, you know. Zada lazy nahi hona hai, zada bahar ka street food nahi kha lena hai. You don't have to do excess. That's it. And hold on. I mean, uh, decisions ko thora sa patiently abhi decision nahi lena hai, right? Uh, do or not to do, just leave it for some time. We'll take decision. Um, take it in uh, December once November ends. All in all, great cards for you. Good health. Enjoy yourself. Happy November. A wonderful Libras. How are you? Right? A beautiful sun sign. All are beautiful sun signs. Yeah, but I have a special heart for uh, my Libras, for my Pisces friends. And the Scorpions I love. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dear Libras. Let's see what your cards hold for you. Wow. Advice comes. Advice comes. Ego agar aara hai, to se hata ke rakhna hai. Ye card bol raha hai. Dil ko stiff karke, cold karke nahi rakhna hai. Ye dousri jiz hai. When you will see things from your third eye, you will be able to see things from a very, very different angle, right? So this is the advice that is coming to you. Uh, secondly, you know, you are creative and you're putting a lot of creativity in your life, whether you're in the kitchen, whether in your office, whether you're dealing your relationships, whether you're, you know, dealing a bond, you know, you 
become very creative you know and very creatively you know you're working hard working hard and ye aapko benefits and rewards bhi dila raha hai benefits and rewards har tarike ke hote hain tareef ke form mein hote hain appreciation ke form mein hote hain paise ke form mein hote hain so all that is coming your way aap apna kuch bana rahe hain like कोई भी एक अपनी छोटी सी चीज एक अपनी योर योर ओन आइडेंटिटी यू नो इट्स अ मंथ व्हिच इज टेकिंग यू एंड ड्रॉइंग यू टुवर्ड्स योर क्रिएटिविटी सी योर क्रियो क्रिएटिव यू हैव द स्ट्रेंथ यू नो यू हैव दैट कंपैशन यू नो यू कैन विन पीपल यू कैन कन्विंस पीपल व्हाई बिकॉज यू हैव दैट दैट स्पार्क ऑफ लव दैट्स दैट लाइट ऑफ लव विद इन यू सो ब्यूटीफुल कार्ड्स डियर dear librarians and god bless you hey my dear scorpions right so let's check out what november holds for you yeah dear scorpions let's see what november holds for you you brave people scorpions Three cards for you. Wow, you've drawn the high priest card. The blessings of Almighty, the blessings of beautiful souls is on you, dear Scorps. So it's a great month. A uh, Queen of Swords. थोड़ा सा आप डिटैच हो रहे हैं एरगेंस आपको डोमिनेट कर लेता है एंड ये अच्छा नहीं है एंड दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट बट सम हाउ सिचुएशन और सर्कमस्टांसिस दे दे जस्ट फॉर्स यू टू बी लाइक दैट जस्ट कंपेल यू टू बी लाइक दैट एंड आई आई माई एनर्जी आस्क मी टू एडवाइज यू दैट ये चीज़ आपका काम बिगाड़ देता है उसमें आप थोड़ा सा विंडिक्टिव भी हो जाते हैं थोड़ा सा पोजेजिव होने की वजह से जेलसी भी आ जाता है सो यू आर अ क्वीन स्कॉप इन वूमन एंड यू आर किंग स्कॉप इन मैन सो वाई 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 दिस कंपैरिजन वाई no don't get into this comparison and just be yourself and because you've drawn divine wish granted card a big wish is going to come true and good health prosperity everything is there and the glitter and sparkle of diwali continues to so keep doing good and don't mar your way by your negativity or any kind of negative thought all the very best dear scops Hi dear Sagittarians how are you Yeah So your cards and your prediction for the month of November dear Sagittarians It's 12:15 post midnight I'm sitting with your readings this diwali night yeah six of points oh my god hey sagittarians do you have a scorpion friend if yes then you know your stars are bringing you together that's what i feel it's some like the lost long bond the nature is ready to unite and it's a big wish that's been you know this has been granted because it's amazing because the three cards are scorpion drew when these are your three cards uh you've drawn the uh, ace of coins yeah that is your divine wish being granted then your queen of swords you've drawn so these are the cards and then you've drawn one card which is six of coins uh, i can show you your card and this six of coins it's telling you like um कुछ फाइनेंशियल चैलेंजेस इज इट आई यू फेसिंग वेल चिंता करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है नी नॉट वरी बिकॉज यू यू विल बी एबल टू क्रॉस दिस हर्डल दिस बैरियर लेकिन ये कार्ड ये भी बता रहा है कि 
philanthropically you should do something because nature has always been very kind to you so you have to give something back to the nature dear Sajis. so it's there and uh, one thing more this card is also telling you that there is some kind of domination uh, from some woman in your life it could be anyone close to you uh, it could be boss or you know any any elderly woman in your life you know, because uh, this is a queen of swords um, but no worries um, my advice the energies that I'm getting for this card also is like uh, so all in all good cards uh, dear Sagis the only thing is that just be good to the world because as I said Nature has always been kind to you. So you have to give back something to the nature. So um, ego is not going to help. And yeah, try. Try to make others understand. Uh, I'm sure that your sensibilities will balance the situation. Well, moving on to the next sun sign. And that is dear Capri's. And let's check out what your cards say, dear Capri's. Yeah. So just read the cards for you, dear Capricorns. Let's check out what your cards say, Capricorns. As I found the cards for you, I took up three cards. Okay, okay. King of Wands and the Six of Coins. Well, uh, dear Capricorns, you have drawn the King of Wands. Um, traveling, um, your leadership qualities are going to be recognized, right? Chai ghar ho ya bahar ho, people are going to appreciate you. Aapko ek naya kingdom milega survey karne ke liye, which shows actually a kind of promotion in your job, new responsibility, where your bosses look up to you. And where you are, you become one important boss, one of the, one of, uh, you know, your dream profiles. That's one. You've drawn Ace of Coins, which is, again, a wish fulfillment card. And jo money aapne kahi par invest kiya hua hai. You're going to get the fruits of that money wherever you have invested, you know. So the harvest is all gold and, you know, you, you're holding the gold in your hand. And then you have drawn six of coins also. Uh, but then the money that you're earning, is ko aapko dena bhi padega, project mein lagana bhi padega, kisi ki madad bhi karni padegi, because that's what the six of coins is telling. But you need to be very balanced and don't say no to people who come to you for help, you know. So, because that is what your cards, they are guiding you because this is going to bring very fruitful energy to you dear capris rest you're a winner you have drawn the six of wands and yeah this is your card so all the very best hey aquarians how are you yeah let me read the card for you dear aquarians yeah let's see what your cards say Three cards for you, dear friends. Oh, two of wands. Yeah. So very strong friendship is on the cards. A strong union is on the cards. A great compatibility between two people is there on the cards. Engagement is there on the cards. Wedding is on the cards. And some strong business collaboration is on the cards, right? Then you've drawn the Ten of Cups. Happiness, fulfillment, big home, nice home. And you know, you all are celebrating together. It's like Ten of Cups, you know, brimming with joy. Then you've also drawn the Five of Swords. Aapke dushman haar jayenge. Aur unhe apne ego ko, unhe apne... उन्हें अपनी हार माननी पड़ेगी ऐसा आपके कार्ड्स कहते हैं और ये सारे कार्ड्स अक्वेरियंस यही बताते हैं दैट यू आर गोइंग द राइट वे सो व्हेन यू आर द राइट वे दैट इज डेफिनेटली द गॉड्स वे सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट यर अक्वेरियंस वंडरफुल पाइसीस एंड दैट इज यू नो लास्ट सोरियाक टू व्हिच आई रीड द कार्ड्स द 12th सोरियाक साइन Dear Pisces, Pisces, 
one, it's two, three. Wow, the wheel of fortune, dear Pisces. Yeah, so nature is ready to bless you. So you're going the right way, dear Pisces. And um, you don't have to do anything. Nature will take its own course. You just keep doing your work, right? Then ten of coins. You know, some some matters related to, you know, legacy. You know, a lot of your ancestral property. You know, money coming through that source. You know, being blessed by some from somewhere. A big amount is uh, coming to your bank. So that's a very good sign and, and you know, this, this is something beautiful and it's showing a lot of prosperity. You know, home, happiness, people, blessings of elderly people in the house. And then you've drawn the king of wands and that is, you're the master of your work, you know, you're a creative hero and you know, you know how to handle things and professionally at this point of time, you're very strong and your health is good, you're, you're doing good work and uh, keep exploring yourself because November is all for you and, and, and I believe that the Wheel of Fortune is actually predicting something big positively to happen in times to come. So with that, I close my readings for the month of November. One more time, very happy Diwali to you, very happy Bhai Boot. Whenever I see the lights, you know, I just feel like singing a one line of a song that I really love for Diwali. Sare nazare tumhare liye hai, happy Diwali. I hold the lamp, the light one more time in my hand and I say happy Diwali to you. God bless you. May this light ever shine within.